here's what I ended up with. Just a little bit of sealant, silicone. Got the wires routed in that way. That bolt was a little too long, so I just used some washers. I just have to get this thing out today. So, as you can see, everything is in place. I'm gonna end up painting that, the back of that white or whatever. I'm gonna put it up on the uh, siding. So, I don't want anything standing out too much. Didn't have a lot of color options when it came to the extension cord, so I took what I needed. So, I'm gonna get this thing up and running. All right, part two, the motion sensor hawk detection system. That is what I got. Mounted it there, I have a PA speaker, and unpowered in the mudroom. I have my receiver plugged into the sensor and then the CD player just plugged into the wall. The problem is I get a bit of a delay whenever the receiver kicks on. You know, you press power and then you see it light up and there's like two, three seconds, then click and you get audio. So that's, that's audio lost. This thing is picking me up now. Okay. Not bad, as long as you keep moving in it, but it seems to scan at times. All right, this is a test. The motion sensor is mounted above the back door, wired to a PA speaker in the mud room. There we go. Just have to get a PA. You hear that? All the way back to the garden here. This is the part of the uh, yard that concerns me the most because this is where the uh, hawks kind of swoop through. See that is still picking me up. It's tracking me. Not bad. Not bad. seems to be sweeping, but I'm over by the fence and that seems to trigger it as I move across. It's like it's tracking me. If I stop, it will stop. And it seems like it takes a minute to pick me back up again. So this is the stretch of yard I really want to keep covered. They won't swoop in from this side because I went through with machine cloth. You see what I did? Yeah, they're not going to perch on that. But they will come in and swoop and try and land on that railing. Or the dish. And then come up just like they did and roost on that fence right there. You know, you have those uh, terrible looking owl decoys that just have, only have a three foot radius. And those things will run you 25 to 30 bucks a pop. This right here, 20 bucks. Okay plus whatever equipment that you need that I already had, you know what I'm saying? But uh, I'm gonna daisy chain another one. So it goes underneath the ground. We're gonna use P PCV. And it's going to be in such a way though it doesn't take in water. And then I'm gonna put another one right over here, but I'm gonna use a dome type sensor. So these girls are going to be covered and there's other things that set them off too. It's not going to be just hawks. So keep in mind that even if they're in the area and you get a flock of birds that come in and just go through it and trigger it, if they're just drifting lazily overhead, they're going to hear it and just kind of go on their merry way. But don't rule Bluetooth out as an option too. You know what I mean? If you just have a computer, you can just pull up an, a, a 10 hour video off of YouTube and, uh, just put it out in the yard it only has to be going during the day it doesn't have to be anything too obnoxious they have some very pleasant sounding uh, videos that you can use that is pretty cool huh so yeah Bluetooth try that this can get a little hands-on and if you don't know anything about electrical you can start a fire so I can never resist 
any task that involves another trip to Menards. Those guys, they should be uh, dropping confetti when I walk in the door. <laughs> so, until next time, the Justice Homestead. We'll talk to you later.